Yikes! Don't get too close. Look what happened to others who were in this cave. The fear factor is high because these lions look so real. The artist, Peter Paul Rubens, studied them at a zoo, watching their movements and learning their habits and expressions. He made detailed drawings to prepare for this painting. When Rubens returned to his studio, he painted life-size lions on this huge canvas. Some of the lions stare out of the painting. It's as if they can see you. Others are asleep in the den. Some sit with their paws folded or their tails wrapped around them. Some stand and watch, their bodies tense. Some pace and prowl, swishing their tails. Some growl, baring their sharp and dangerous teeth. There are 10 lions in this painting. Can you find them all? The man trapped in the lion's den is Daniel. Look at the expression on his face. How might he be feeling? Do you think he'll survive these hungry lions? Daniel was a Hebrew man who worked for the Persian king Darius more than 2,000 years ago. Darius thought that Daniel was terrific and kept giving him better and better jobs. That made other powerful people jealous, so they set him up. They passed a law that said no one could pray to any god but only to the king. Daniel, who was very religious, kept praying to God the way he always had. So the jealous counselors claimed he was breaking the law, threw him into a cave full of lions, and rolled a stone over the entrance. King Darius lay awake all night and in the morning rushed out to see what happened. Rubens has painted the moment on the following morning when the stone sealing the entrance to the den was rolled away and the morning light streamed into the dark cave. Miraculously, Daniel had survived the night. How do you think Daniel felt when the stone was rolled away in the morning? 